that said, let's talk about this very important Atlassian announcement. So starting from October 18th, 2023, Atlassian is scheduled to implement price adjustments for the following cloud products, Jira Software, Confluence, Jira Service Management, as well as Atlassian Access. I do wanna say something about Atlassian Access. That applies to um, user tiers over 1,000. So this increment will be across all tiers, including standard, premium, and enterprise plans. It will also apply to commercial, academic, as well as community licensing. So with that, that's a pretty big announcement. Um, in general, this tends to happen right around this time for Atlassian. So let's talk about a couple of things because you see the, the date of October 18th and it might you know scare some folks. So one thing that's important to note we can lock in pricing for 90 days with a quote up until October 17th. So to do that, this is what you would need. You would need to spin up a cloud migration trial, trial site. Once that trial site is spun up and your, the domain of your choice is claimed, then you will need to add all Atlassian products and all marketplace uh, plugins and applications that you need or that you think you will need uh, going forward. If you were to, so basically once your trial your trial site is set up with all of your, your products and all of your plugins, then you'll need to make sure that you don't change it after we generate a quote. You can change it up until October 17th, but you need to let your rep know that you've changed something because it will delete the quote and we can't get that back. So again, just an overview to lock in pricing so that you have a, a solid 90 days to discuss this with your team you will need to spin up a cloud migration trial site and add any and all Atlassian products and plugins. And once that's completed, then we can generate a quote for you that will be locked in from 90 days until the date of the actual quote. And, uh, and I wanted to provide one clarity there, uh, Rachel. So um, I've gotten different information on this and, and we can certainly get back to the folks on the call here. My understanding is the extension of 90 days is for renewing customers. So, because I've looked into this, for net new customers that are buying cloud, um, we technically can only, they will auto extend to by 30 days. Meaning if I got you a, a quote on October 17th, November 17th would be the expiration date of that quote. And then there's no more extensions. So I just wanna make sure renewals are 90 days. A net new is really a month from October 17th. Um, if I'm wrong, I'm happy to be wrong, but I'd rather forewarn everyone on the call. That's a great call out, Fritz. Thank you, I really appreciate that. So one other thing we wanna mention here too is though these, and we're gonna talk about the increases on the next slide here, but before we get to that, one thing I do wanna mention is we have deal financing and price financing. So if, if there are issues with paying all at once, we can uh, put that into different uh, categories of payment. So just so you know, that's, that's an availability a product that's available through Valiant. Next slide, please. Thank you. So let's talk about the list prices. Um, we're talking about for Jira Software Cloud for standard premium and enterprise, we're looking at a 5% lift for all paid tiers. For Jira Service Management Cloud, also again for standard premium and enterprise, we're looking at a variety of different adjustments. So the, the the one of the smallest is from the zero to 250 agent tier. We're looking at a 5% uplift from 251 to 500. We're looking at a 30% increase there. And then all, you can see the prices for all the other agent tiers there for JSM Enterprise. We're looking at 20%. JSM Standard from the 501 to 1000 tier for agents, we're looking at 25%. Jira Standard 1001 Plus, a 20% uplift. Jira Service Management Premium from 501 to 2500 agent tier is a 25% uplift. And JSM Premium 2501 and above is at a 20% increase. For Confluence Cloud, work for also for Standard Premium and Enterprise, it's a 5% increase for all paid tiers. For access, again, less than 1,000 users, there is no uplift in price. For 1,000 and above, we're looking at a 10% increase. So one of the things that I know is going to be asked is why are the prices increasing? And there will be more to come on that in the following weeks. But one thing that I will definitely mention is enhanced features and services. 
over the last two years, uh, Atlassian has truly built up cloud to be a powerhouse tool for all things project management and service management. The automation, the asset management within JSM functionality, even within Confluence, which is you know not, not a, a com horribly complicated tool, they're, they've added so many features to Confluence just in the base tier too. There is, they've done a lot of work making sure that cloud is more secure. They've added uh, HIPAA compliance to a lot of areas. They really have bolstered cloud in so many different ways. And that is one of the main reasons for this, this current uplift. They are making constant improvements and I highly encourage everyone on the call to review the Atlassian roadmap to see everything that's coming in the next five years. It's very exciting. And JSM and JIRA and Confluence are still very competitively priced, especially for all of the functionality that comes with it standard without having to purchase any additional plugins or modules or applications. JIRA software, JSM and Confluence in the cloud is truly a powerhouse tool. Fritz, do you want to add anything there? Yeah, one of the one of the thoughts I'd have around this, because I have this conversation with customers every day is, as you think about, uh, especially if you're trying to insulate yourself against these price increases, is to consider if you're not planning to re-platform to another tool in the next 12 to 24 months, it, it does really make sense, especially depending upon where you fall in some of these uh, price uh, increases, uh, to look at um, doing a multi-year agreement. Now, I get it. Most customers also don't necessarily have planned to do Multi years and many and Atlassian does require the payment up front. So just to reiterate or highlight, at, if nothing else, for back pocket information for you, is that we do ex offer deal financing through Valiantis. So in the event that you want to take advantage of the insulating yourself against that, we can help you there. And um, essentially, there is a cost of money for financing, right? But we acquire this software on a margin. So what we're able to do is bury some of that financing cost at, and try to make that a 0% scenario for you guys. If that's more important to you than a short-term upfront discount. So think of, think about that as you guys look to acquire this uh, software because that's gonna be key for you to help help you guys um, avoid some of the, these impacts over the next, uh, next month or two. Thanks, Fred. And also one thing that I wanted to mention too is there will be some decreased costs for most of you who are moving to the cloud from server or on-prem because some of those applications and plugins that you're currently using are no longer available in cloud because they are part of the, the cloud functionality now. So there is some savings to be had there moving from cloud that should mitigate some of this increase depending on your user tier. I just wanted to put that out there. Next slide, please. And our last slide that we'll be discussing today is Atlassian's announcement, how can we help you save money from Valiantis 2? So let's talk about dual licensing. Migrating customers can enjoy an extended free renewal of their server and data center licensing, providing you with up to one year of additional time while you're working through to your migration. So you don't have to pay for two separate uh, buckets of licenses while you do that. There's also step up credit. So the incentive to transition to cloud by crediting back unused server or data center maintenance, restrictions will apply and we'll talk about that in a second, but that is also available. Multi-year contracts. So multi-year contracts allow the customer, allow you to get 24 months and lock in current pricing for a full subscription period. A 36 month contract with a 15% discount is also available under Atlassian's discretion. So that's something that we can talk about as well. But let's dive a little bit more into dual licensing. So the requirements for this are an annual subscription commitment. You have to have Jira service management with 250 or more agents. All other products must be in the 1001 plus user tier. This must be exclusively all for Atlassian products. Aligning the tier on the server and data center will help with the new cloud subscription tier. And we can also send more information on that if you have questions about the dual licensing. For the step up credits, the incentive is by crediting back again, the unused server or data center maintenance. And the requirements for that are, you must have 201 plus users for Jira software, Confluence and Bitbucket premium. Jira service management, you will need to have 51 plus agents. 
the original server and data center license must be purchased before February 2nd of 2021. Partners must raise a step up credit. So we'll have to put that in just to make sure that they're aware of it. And then this is applicable only to cloud sites created pursuing this offer. This is also limited to Atlassian products only. And then the last main bullet is multi-year contracts. So we can benefit from a 15-year discount on a three-year subscription term for migrating customers. We'll be collaborating with, with our uh, Alassian reps for this, and it's required to secure approval. The option should remain, <clears throat> and the requirements for migration requirements for this is migration of existing server and data center customers to cloud, upgrade uh, upfront payment for a three-year subscription, Again, we can also do deal financing for this. Jira service management at 250 plus agents is necessary. And all other products must have a 1001 plus user tier. This is for a migration from server and data center to cloud. And this also includes active maintenance with or within 30 days of expiration. We can also give exclusive discounts on Atlassian product. Are there any questions from, from the audience that we need to answer? I don't see any here. Fritza, do you have anything that you wanted to add in terms of saving money? Uh, no, I, I mean, I think you covered it there. And when I think about the dual licensing, that's a good opportunity, especially if you guys are on the cusp of in the next couple months facing down a renewal. Um, you, I'd rather throw good money to good money as opposed to renewing something that you may not uh, see that money back. Um, now, obviously, there is the step up credit program, but that doesn't necessarily apply to all customers. So if, if you don't fall into that step up credit opportunity and you know you're going cloud, but your renewal is impending, um, you probably want to look into that sooner than later and use those funds towards acquiring cloud as opposed to renewing your legacy tools. Thank you, Fred. 